there this is Lena from Lena's Crafty Corner so I did my first challenge on the um, Roxy Creations challenge um, and I thought I enjoyed it so much I thought I'm going to play around with some scrapbooking papers and I'm going to put some paint down similar to what I did in the challenge but with a bit more time and time to sort of do it and let them dry naturally and I can edit the video so you don't have to you know wait for me to dry them and what have you so I just thought I would have a play because I wanted to do something that would be a bit more layered than there were in the challenge obviously you couldn't do as much in the time scale so I still had some bits of papers well, sort of what I'm just going to move these out of the way. So these are what I'm going to be using. These have got a nice backing on and the fairly thick scrapbooking paper. So I'm going to be covering this side, even though it's got leaves and birds on it. It's got bits of, it's a bit brighter than I wanted. So I'm going to do a bit of something with that, with the paints. Um, this one has got craft on the back, so I'm happy with that for journaling on, but I don't want the cupcakes, so I shall be covering that. Um, this one I really like, and this one I really like, but I am going to be putting some paint down. I'm going to do this one first because I think the paint on this will be a bit thicker. have a look move these out my way for now so a bit of this green because it's a very bright vibrant green this maybe wouldn't be oh and the tools i'm using i'm going to be using uh, my brayer and um i said palette knife in the but i meant spatula um are they a spatula? I still can't think what you call them. Anyway, these. I lose my words these days, I'm afraid. But um, I've got a plastic one and a metal one. So I'm going to be using those. So I'm going to start with this. And just get a bit of this down. I love that colour, but it is very vibrant, isn't it? For it won't be a vintage journal, probably this is going in, but <laughs> it will be a nature one because by the time I've done it, it'll be lovely. It is sort of, well, I don't know whether it's leaf green, it's probably fruit green, citrusy green. I don't know what colour it said actually. What colour did it call it? Um, yeah, fresh lime. Fresh lime, so there you go. So I'll have a bit of that. In fact, I used quite a lot of that because I didn't. But you can still see through it, which um, in some instances that's fine. But on this one, I want this back covering up a little bit. So I'm going to have a look at another green. I don't think I've got, have I got the green palette now? Oh, I might have. A palette, it's actually a... Um, takeaway lid I wash all my takeaway lids and the ones that I don't uh, so I recycle mine <laughs> and use them for my painting the great as palettes I mean I talk as if I'm a painter I'm not a painter I just mess as you can see I just mess about I have so much fun painting and it, it's a bit more stressful on camera because um you know, people be expecting something wonderful and, you know, it's just me having a play. But it's amazing how, just for the background, how lovely it looks. And I do urge you all to give it a go. It's really good for, you know, um, you know your stress levels. Oh, I could just play forever. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, you just cover it up with something. You know, you just keep going to get what you want. I mean, look at the look at the 
and look how that green has just calmed down that other green now and I, if I've left the piece whole some of them were cut because the, I cut them for the challenge but didn't use them so um, this I've left in a whole piece because I just thought it was easier to do you know with this amount of paint on so that's why I forgot to um, put the tag shapes on yeah so I really like that what else does it need because I mean obviously these edges need something on them but you can always do that once you've cut it down and you've actually got your amount on your tag so you know you know you know what piece is going in that tag you can go around and and do that afterwards um oh i'll tell you what i'll use some of this that i said how lovely it was because this is really lovely so i'm just gonna and it is all a um acrylic because acrylic dries faster than watercolor you know in slow time when you can edit it doesn't really matter but i do like just splashy well i, I like watercolor as well but I do like um, acrylics. So I'm just can hear my husband talking to Alexa. <laughs> He'll be asking her something so he doesn't have to look it up. could just go forever I could just keep going and going and going so all I'm going to do now is just put a bit, of sh bit more shape and I, I don't want I'm not doing anything but I, I just like to make it look a bit like well, not leaves but just like the grasses or whatever on this occasion I just sort of do and then if I've got still got some bits on the edges that I'm not happy of showing I'll just come in with the And just give it a another go so you can always go over it again you can see the background but just enough to give it um but already look how that's changed that and when that's dry that'll be superb there's just a bit too much of a cupcake show in there so we'll just get a bit more on there and then i'm just gonna leave that one to dry for now um so let's have a look at a couple that we cut up just to finish these colors up before i go on and use some different colors so the background and if you get some ink on the background i don't mind i think that just makes it all the more interesting so these were cut down into strips not into tags but into strips so i've got a little bit left not a lot so i'm just going to get this on here first and I'm going to go with a similar colour palette on this one. But I'm just getting off there what I had on. And we'll add another colour in as well on this one. Again, I want to do this background quite a bit. Um, I think we'll have a bit of brown on this one. Ooh. Oh, heck. Oh, I don't think I use this one in my challenge because it's still got that uh, what's it bit in it. Oh, that's really thick, that one. That does surprise me because these were really cheap. So let's get rid of that. Right, that's about... Oh, yeah, it's not very pigmented. But... Don't mind that. Right, I've got another one of them. I might have to just bring another one in because I've got a lot of paint going on on here now. With that pan, I'm a bit heavy-handed when I take it out. 
Um, let's have a look. Let's have a little bit of this creamy one. Oh, oh this has got in a bit of a mess. Let's just... Oh, I'll tell you what I might do. I might use some... Uh, do you know, I get that excited and look at all these paints. I bring too many out. I bring too much choice out and then I want to use them all. That's maybe not the way to go, but it's what I like to do. So, so I'm just picking that up with the brown as well. Can you actually see my palette? Maybe not. Maybe see it better there. So I just want a bit more of the light colour on its own. And as I say, I'm not really bothered how it's going down. I'm just making sure the background's covered. Oh, got a bit of green on there. Oh, oh, I like that. I like it when it does that, when you get a surprise and you don't expect that. That was just a bit that was left on my knife. Oh, look how wonderful that looks. Oh, I like that. Right, let's have a look at it. Let's have a bit of this creamy colour on this one too and make sure I leave some of the mustard on. This is already starting to dry on here because as I say acrylic dries. I mean obviously because it's a bit thicker it doesn't dry as fast. But so I'm just gonna it's not really marbly but it looks sort of marbly. I really like they're gonna look really cool when they're finished. I say because my camera is in here, I haven't really, I can't be bothered to set my camera up down the bottom. And the, bo the bottom area is where I've normally done all my wet stuff um, because there's a sink down there and, you know, it's just easy to do all the paints. But my camera's up here and oh, it's such a pain taking the camera down there and trying to, so I'm trying to make this work as my wet area as well. So, right, I'm going to do that slightly different. It needs, oh, it's gone a bit dry. I can't use that. I need something else in there. And I did like the look of that. Oh, now I'll try it with the orange. Try a bit of orange on it because I haven't got any of the mustard on it. So I'm going to just try all all broken in the package um and uh so did this one look how messed up that was it still had all the plastic around it but it was all spilt out and i should have sent it back and i didn't and the, this one's just the same it was all messed up when it came so so or two here. Let's do this one. So I might do this one a bit simpler. I'm just going to move that palette out of the way. If you have any left, you can reactivate it with, I think it's called um, a paint retarder or something, and it just slows down the drying process. Or water does it as well, just a bit of water on it, if you're doing just things like this. So on this one what am I going to do I quite like I'm going to do it straight on here just because I haven't got another palette so I think what I'm going to do is just do Way to cover it quick I suppose I 
I don't want it totally covered. I do like this background. I'm not doing a bad job there, am I? But I don't want it totally covered. I just don't want when it's cut down into tags that all one part of the tag isn't covered. So I'm trying to make sure I get some on, you know, where each piece of the tag will be. Which if I'd cut it down, you you know, you'd be able to see, you know, I can tell exactly like on that one how that tag's gonna look on the underneath. On this one, you get a bit of a surprise. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now then. Hmm, I like that, but I'm gonna put Do you know what? I'm going to put a bit of metallic. This is Rich Espresso, and this is a Deco Arts one. So I am going to just splodge. So I'm just making sure there's a little bit on every bit here. Oh, this espresso is lovely. It says rich espresso. It is very rich. really like that that looks really lovely oh I've left a bit there oh that is really lovely I do love metallic paints right let's have a look I'm running out of space and I'm standing everything on everything else and we're going to all stick together before I've finished so that won't be very good Look how I'm getting bits on the back, look. That's great because that's uh, just, you know, I don't mind that there's a bit on the back as well. It sort of continues what's going on on the front on the back. This one here is a Dela and Rowney and it's an acrylic, acrylic metallic and it just says metallic brown. But I would have said it's more sort of gold bronzy goldy colour oh it's a right mess on there oh, I must get a cloth and get these cleaned up Ugh. oh I'm disgusting now I do everything with my hands I'll be stained up all day today and I'm terrible but I love I love getting messy Now this is very um, iridescent, it maybe was one to go over the top, it maybe wasn't the first one to put down. As I say, I don't watch the soaps anymore, but Gail Tilsley's been in it for years and I can recognise that voice, she's shouting. <laughs> recognise her shouting at somebody. <sighs> hmm, although this is metallic, I'm not liking this one, I've got to say. the bray is making too many marks for me to I'm gonna oh it's got a bit of everything on it but then that's gonna move it about as well because it's thin 
I'm just gonna move something down that side but I don't know what I'm going to leave that as it is and see what it does when it dries. Uh, have I got any more? I think I've only got this tiny bit here to do. So I'm going to do this a bit different as well. I'm going to do this with this orange. Orange and mustard because it's actually got orange, mustard and green on it. Trying to, oh, I've contaminated. Oh, you might know I would. I ought to have used out the lid. I've contaminated that. I've got a bit of brown going on in there. Shouldn't have used a dirty tool. Right, I'm just going to move these over a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. I haven't got a lot of room to put them anywhere. I don't lay them on the floor because I squirrel lay on them. I have got some floor space at the moment, but it's Oscar's space and he'll be in and he'll just lay on them. <laughs> There's no two ways about that, he will, because he'll be saying that's my space. Well, he won't be saying because he can't talk, <laughs> but you know what I mean. He would if he could. He would look at me and tell me. He would be very disgusted if I took up his space with some painting. He wouldn't care in one of his spaces. You see who moves it. And um, talking away, I'm not telling you what I'm doing because you can see as, as clearly I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making some and then I'm just making some uh, texture marks, that's the word I'm looking for, just to make sure. Oh, but th th I couldn't do this in the challenge because this would be too thick, it just wouldn't dry. I did have to put the heat, heat tool on anyway, but this would just take, even though it dries quickly, when you've got a lot of layers going on, obviously it takes a little bit longer. So what else do I want on there? I can hear you shouting at me. You don't need anything else on there, Liam. Probably leave it to dry, and then I can see then how I'm gonna how I'm gonna um, do them. But just look at these. How these are turning out. Look, you see. I mean, you don't have to cover all the paper if you like this one. I've left quite a bit on that one and uh, that one there I've covered it I really like how that's turned out and then I say we'll leave that and see what that one does I like that one too three colors on it and I really like it and they're so unique you know you're not going to get anything else exactly the same um, I actually I must say I like them smaller. They were easier to work on smaller, I think. I mean, now, I've done this one and I've left this in a big one. And I found that um, I enjoyed doing it, but I haven't got quite as much paint on. So what I might do with these is I might cut them down. I might just cut them down and then um, put some more paint on them. That might be the way I do it. I'll just see. Um, this one, I don't think I should be doing anything else to that because so far that's my favourite. I really like that one. Showing all the background through um, gives a lovely texture and then the colours on the top. But if it's one that you want to cover, some of these ones I wanted to cover. This one wasn't particularly. I liked this, so that's fair enough. This one here um this one i liked that so i didn't want to cover that too much anyway um i did one 
last night because I was just using up my colours and I did this one and it's just got a lot of the mustard on and it's I've got quite that's from the brayer but it's brought through because there was some metallic and you know actually now it's dry look how that shines in there that one looks superb when that's cut down I think that'll be really nice it's got yellow going on and a bit of the the one that said metallic this one it's got some of this one going on in it you can still see some of the background in it the main color in there is this one um but there's a lot going on on that there's a lot of texture and of course it's flat it's completely flat so it doesn't cause any bulk but there's a lot of layers it's really really lovely i'm really pleased with that one but as i say it would have been too much to have done in the challenge um so i'm going to leave those for now because obviously i haven't got any room left on my desk i'm going to leave them to dry and i'm going to wash up some of my bits and pieces because everything is all painted up my table's disgusting and uh, when they're all dry and ready for um completing i'll get back to yes you. i'm back to you now they're all dry um and i'll just quickly go through i have cut them down just to save bringing my cutter on um so i've just cut them three inches across by i've left the length 12 inches so that's the that's one that i did with just the green on and you can see they're in four pieces obviously because that's three six nine twelve yeah that's right um and i've just cut them and then i can cut them across the middle so that they've turned out really nice i love that the pattern's still showing through on those ones so they're really nice these ones i don't think i did but i showed you these how lovely these were and you know how much different they're going to look now they're cut down because obviously each bit of this is on a on a different this is what i mean about when they're in a full one it's hard to see what they're going to be like when they're cut down because you don't know what bits you're going to capture on each one this was the hold on i don't know why i've only got two pieces of that here i need three <laughs> we've got another four there we go so that i think looks so much better now it's been cut down um and i there's this is the one with the cupcakes on and you can still see on some pieces there's more cupcakes showing than there is on others but once you get your top layer on there you won't you won't see it um, you can see the summing under there but you can't exactly see what it is so i'm, I'm going to work with one of them today Put one of those down um i think i'll do one of those just to see how one of these turns out i'll go with one of those that feels a bit thick that one and this was the one with all the metallic on and i actually said about this i wasn't sure about it because this was the pattern underneath that i really liked which you can still see but now it's all dried I absolutely love it you can still see what's going on underneath now like this one this was the edge there's nothing much on that one at all but I'll just turn that round and use that um, for the top of the tag um, so you know so there's not a problem there I, I, I'm not sure I'll get through all these but I'm just going to put those to one, one of those to one side and then this was the other one that I absolutely loved and I still think it's my favourite. Um, so I think I am going to do... Um, I don't know. I don't know whether to do... I've got some cut ready for journaling cards or just to do a tag. I think I might do a journaling card in that one, but that has turned out beautifully. And then these. Now this, 
I made a mistake here. I'd forgotten that it was one that I'd done on camera and it was just orange and green and I wasn't that well it was all right but it needed something else and I went over with some gold italic paint and realized it was one I should have done on camera and I don't know whether you can see but where it's all ridged underneath from doing it with the palette knife it's the gold has then picked up all the creases and it looks really lovely so I'm going to put one of those across there in fact, you can see it better on that one, I think. Can you see the, can you see how it's got it? I just love, I love playing with paints because you never know what you're going to get. And then I've got three of these that were also lovely. So I'm going to put those and I'm, I, we'll see how far we get. I'm not sure we'll get through all those, but let's have a look. So these already have quite a lot of, they have got texture on them and I do like them as they are. I do think they're really pretty. Um, I am going to just cut them into tags though. So I'm going to do them all together. The, the paint, because this was just scrapbooking paper, but the paint has really thickened this up. So there is no problem with just having one layer on here because it is so thick. It's uh, with with all this paint on, they're, they're really quite thick now. So yeah, so they're done. I want to keep those bits if I can find my little pot with them all in. Is that them? Yeah. So I've got another project on the go that I need to, well, I haven't got it on the go. I've got it ready. It's, it's all ready and waiting to go, but I've not quite got there yet. Let's just put some vintage photo around these edges. Um, I mean, I could I could get my metallic paints out again and go around these edges with um, like a gold or something, and it would be quite pretty on these edges. I might do that on a, another video when I'm not actually decorating. I'm just sort of finishing them off. But if I start doing that today, it's going to make the video so long. So I'm just getting rid of the white edges for a start on these three. I'll put more out of you for a minute. So these are sort of similar but different. Um, so I'm just looking at what I'm going to do with these and I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't feel I want to cover them up, com you know, the backings up completely because I really like them. On the back side, they've all got some of the paint on, just from as you're painting, but I think that brings them into the front. So I like that. I like that idea. Um, hmm. I'm still not sure. But what, I've, what I have just done is I've put two holes in these and then thought, ah, oh, stop, because I might not be putting holes in them. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing with those. So I've got two with holes in that I did together. And I left the other one blank. So I'm just I'm gonna bring out some bits of what I want because these are so beautiful. I don't want to put too much on them, I want to leave them a bit as they are. So I'm just looking at how else I can decorate them. I've got some tickets which wouldn't do much. I've got some stamps and things at the side of me, so I'm just gonna bring them on. I haven't um inked them so that's the only thing if I decide to use them I might have to just ink them so I've got those sorry the sun's beautiful but it's it's uh, shining really bright and I can't really see how clear you're going to see this with the sun on the window um right so um I like them I've also pulled out some little bits of like appliques on the uh, 
and I do quite like them. I thought I might put one of them somewhere. The only thing with this is I, I haven't actually cut it right down and taken all the backing off. Um, so I wasn't sure. I quite like the idea of doing something like that on there. But again, haven't taken all the back enough, so I don't know. I've got some of those at the side of me. I've got some bits of uh, netting and lace. And then I have got a little bird and it's a paper clip. So because I haven't, I've just picked this one because I haven't put a hole in this one with the bird on the top. So I quite like that and then you can just fit it anywhere in your, in your um, journal. So I thought if I was going to use that on here, let's just have a look and see. I quite like that ticket straight away on there. As I say, I'm not going to go too mad and do too much. That's I don't want that sort of look on that one. Do I like that one better? No, I like the greeny one better. I quite like that. But then I'm just wondering, or the other thing I've brought on, I've only got a couple. I must, it's not my favourite job in the world making dangles, but I do like to see them. I haven't put on any charms on the bottom of these though. Um, I did like the look of those on there. So... Do I go with that? Do I do that as a as a um, paper clip and put one of these on with a ball pin on the side? Do you think? Let's have a look. I haven't put a hole in this one, so that's a good. One. I went nearly went in the wrong place. Um, don't want it too near the edge, and I've put it right near the edge. Oh, and, and it looks all right. Not brilliant, but it looks all right. So do I then, let's have a look before I do this, let's just faffing about, let's just get on with it really, wrong sponge, my other sponge has gone, where's that disappeared to? There's a mystery to me where things disappear to what they seem to do right so am I just going to put that randomly somewhere like that oh that's just made me laugh randomly my grandson's four and he was talking to me on Skype the other day and we bought him or we've all put together and bought him a switch for Christmas and he was playing it with his daddy yesterday and uh, he said, Grandma, I've just found a random house. <laughs> come up on his game. It's just come up on his game. I've got a random house. <laughs> a random house. Just thought that was really cute. Yeah, quite like that, I think. Do I want that the other way, probably, like that. Why does that want to go to the back and not the front? I think that's the way I've just, that's it. It does go to the front, that's fine. I quite like that. I don't know whether I want that just under that ticket somewhere there let's take that off a minute do i want that to be just there and then put that on yeah i think i do i think i am just oh and then it leaves all this to be seen because i just think these are lovely as they are and i don't want to cover them up i just think they're gorgeous so I 
I'm going to have to get on quicker than this because I, I've got loads out to show you and I'm messing about just for one. So I got carried away there because I'm just having such fun. Yeah, so I like that one, just like that, and I'm going to leave that one. I'm not going to do much more at it. Can you actually see because of the sun? I do apologise if this is a bit poor because of the sun. Right, I need to go a bit faster on these then. So I'm not going to I'm not going to mess about this anymore. I'm going to try my hardest just to get it right first time. And I am going to put one of these in there. I like that. So that's going in. I'm not going to mess about. I'm hopefully I've got it right. And if I haven't, we'll soon find out. Yep, yeah, so I've got that one in there. Well, that one went in very well. And I think I'm going to put a different one in here. And I'm going to go with a little gold one. And I'm just going to put that in there. That's it. No messing about now, really. We haven't got time. So I've got some bits. Right, let's have a look. I spent far too long on that other one. So I want to have a look. I like that, but I think it's too big. Let me have a look. I like a bit of that. with a number on. No, I actually don't. I think I do like the number. I keep putting my ink pad away and then I'm not very organised today. I've got a list as long as my arm of things I want to do. They'll not all get done. I'll run out of energy long before my list. I get to the end of my list. Yeah, I'm going to put that on there. And I think I'm just going to just put a bit of... And then what I think I'm going to do here... Have I got a little bit of lace that just go under there? do that too so just, it isn't really white this but it is I just wanted it a little bit darker so I'm going to do that on here so I'm going to put a little bit of this just along there like that and then I'm going to just cut that down slightly. I think it will have to be Fabri-Tac on here. Just because I am going to go through the piece of... Um, let's have a look. Let's put that down there. Like that. Do you know what? I like... I think I'm going to put that there just because... I like what's going on up there. Can't wait to use these in my journal. So what I'm going to do is just, because this is quite um, textured under here, I am just going to give it a helping hand with a bit of fabric tack on there as well. I mean, this will go through, but I like that. Where's my... Oh! Everything's coming out at me. The only thing with fabric tech, it slides a bit as you're trying to do it and I've just pushed that and it, it, it's moved. <laughs> so I just wanted that down a little bit more before do anything else get the middle 
wish it decide whether it's going to be bright or dull because it's changing the lighting on the camera yes i don't quite like that and then i think i'm just gonna put if i can find it i've just put it somewhere i'm just gonna put a bit of this and a bit of this one together i think Put through this hole if I can. Oh, I don't know, I don't know whether both these will go through. We'll see. See if I can get it through. If I can, I'm going to do it or can. Yep, I can. And then I'll cut it off when I've. These are still a bit white. I have got some um, tea stain and coffee stain somewhere, but I haven't got any out. So, let me just pull some of this through. Let's just give it a bit more of a stain. Yeah, like that. And then I'm just going to chop it off. Oh, it's a shame because I really like that all taffledy one. I've cut a bit of it off. I do like that, so I'm going to leave that on. Yeah, I quite like that too. I might have to just darken that a little bit more. I think what I'll do is I'll get some more ink on and just give it a bit more of a... I just don't want the white on it, that's all. So I'm just... Sorry if the camera's wobbling about. So yeah, so I like that one. And then I haven't used one of these tickets, so I thought I'd use a ticket on this one. Um, do I want a green one? I like that green one. But then I like that there, this nice shaped one. I like that, but I find that a bit too big. Mm. What about a stamp? I might just put a stamp on there with something else. I wonder. Let's have a look. I've got on here, I've got all sorts of bits on here. I'm just wondering if I, like, I love these, but I've got a hole in this one. They are thick though. I have got this lovely leaf. Look at this. I'm just wondering if I put a bit of this applique leaf on there and that on there. And then I might just put a stamp in there like that. So let's stop messing about and let's get this done. going on. Right then, let's have a look. Does this want a little bit of... Yeah, it does. Just a little bit, nothing much. 
I'm not sure which is the right and the wrong, so I'll do it on both. That's it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to use Fabri-Tac on this bit just because, you know, that's the fabric. So it's as easy to use it on both. So I'm just going to try and get this down best I can. This is the underneath. You're all right. So I'm just going to. So I like using all these complex bits, but they're difficult to... I've just decided as I'm doing it, I don't know whether I want both of these on or not. Yeah, I'm going to put that on the bottom of that. Going just over this stem, so I thought Fabri-Tac would hold it down a lot better. So I think I'm just going to put it there. Just press it down a little bit. I changed my mind, I was going to have it underneath and I've put it over the top and I think I probably prefer it underneath. Too late, it's down. That's it, move those out. So I can show you what I've done so far. Move some bits out. Well, that's took me absolutely ages to do those three because I wasn't covering up so much of the background. I wanted to keep the background in. Another way, of course, I could have used some vellum on it so that it showed through or some tracing paper or I could have decoupaged with napkin. But um, for these particular ones, I just fancy doing them like this. So I'm just going to get this in here. And I'm not sure if this is part two anyway, so there might have to be a part three. <laughs> just because. Right, let's have that down a bit. Take them out the way. Now, although they all started out with a similar background, different colours, similar background, I've, all, I've done them all very different. So this one was very simple. It's just got um, a dangle on it, which you could take off if you didn't like it and put a bit of um, lace or something in there. And of course, you could just put a top on there and make it into a proper tag. Um, I've just got it with a paper clip because I fancy doing something a little bit different than that one. That one is just a tag with some lace at the top and just a ticket with a bit of lace underneath. And this one I've just got an applique on the back of there and a little faux stamp and just a um, number on there. So they're all, they're all started off similar, different colours, but similar sort of design on the background. But look how different they look. So yeah, so that's I think it's possibly part two. I wouldn't I wouldn't swear to that, but um, I'm uh, going to finish it there. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed how I've covered them, and I'll be back to you shortly. In the meantime, keep safe. Take care. Bye.